Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a voiceover on my uh, video. And I have an 8 by 8 inch canvas here that I have done a base coat of the um, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Champagne. I'm just doing a dirty pour at this point on this painting. Um, I will list all the paints that I've used in the description. Here I'm just turning the cup a little bit. I can tell you that I do have the Rust-Oleum Ruby in here, and I'm trying to get the Ruby to go on the other side also, but um, I don't think it worked out on this. Um, what I am doing today is called a cupping and covering technique that I learned from Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry. And what you do is you put all your paint down first, and then you do take, um, like I'm doing right here, you just cover it with another color. This color, by the way, is a golden iridescent pearl. And it's, and it's good to leave some of the paint underneath showing like I'm doing too. Now I think I'm just going to torch it here just to get some of the air bubbles out. And now I think I'll, I'm starting to tilt it here just to get the paint to move all over on the canvas. And I do have quite a bit of paint on here with the base coat and then um, actually three coats of paint if you consider that top coat also. So I am going to be um, tipping quite a bit of this paint off. Unfortunately here though I did lose a lot of that ruby. I wanted to be able to work with that ruby color. I really like it, but most of it did get tipped off here, and also a lot of the gold got tipped off um, in the process here. Now I'm just looking at it and cleaning the edges off here and uh, checking the corners. Make sure everything looks okay. And this is how you want this to look at this point because you're going to use another technique on it called um, cupping. And you'll see me doing that in just a minute here. And I think I choose a smaller cup being that this is uh, a small canvas only the 8 by 8 um, I just wanted to get as much um, I did looks like I did uh, I did torch again here just to bring up the rest of the air bubbles I did not use any silicone in my paints today and my pouring medium is just my normal two parts Flow trowel, one part paint, squirt a GAC 800, and a teaspoon of the Liquitex um, gloss medium. Normally, when Lamb from Heartfelt Artistry does this technique, she has a different pouring medium she uses with Mod Modge Podge. If you get a chance, you should check out her channel. It's Lamb, L A M, from Heartfelt Artistry. She has done this, um, per, this technique quite a bit. She's really good at it. As you can see, I'm just rolling the cup now through the paint. Sometimes I roll it and sometimes I just put the cup down and it makes a little circle but this is just the cupping part of this technique. Just to move the paint around and give it different patterns. I 
Again, as you can see, I don't have much of the ruby left, just a few little spots um, poking out here and there. Some of the other paints I used was, uh, let's see, Folk Art Treasure Gold, Majestic Gold, and I added a few um, shakes of the Jewel Essent Mica Powder in with that. I used Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl. I used Artist Loft Metallic Black and rust -Oleum Metallic Accents Real Pewter. That was a mixture of those two. The Metallic, the rust -Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And like, like I said, I will list those in the description. And here I am still adding more designs in the paint with the cup lip, lip of the cup here. You don't have to go all the way down to the canvas, but if that does happen, um, it's fine because your paint will fill in that, um, that little gap that you made in your paint. Your paint will be thick enough normally that it will fill that in. And now I'm starting to do some balloon kisses on this. I have a water-filled balloon that I'm using, just a small balloon here. Sometimes you have to wait about 20 minutes or a half an hour for your painting for the paint on your painting to be dry enough, but I was able to continue to do these balloon kisses. If there's a lot of paint on your canvas, you can just dip in the same area a couple times to thin that paint out to get the desired effect you want. And here I think I'm going to be doing some, yeah, some uh, balloon rolls. I actually have a glove that I put my thumb in, and I got, um, I got that technique from Heather Mater of Heather Mater Art. That is how she does her balloon rolls. She uses a glove and she sticks her thumb in the in the thumb part of the glove. It just helps you hang on to that glove a little a little better. I'm still working with balloon rolls. I don't I don't have that perfected yet for sure. But I know that I um I watched Heather a lot and she twists her wrist when she does her balloon rolls and that's what I'm trying to do here too. You can see I'm cleaning my balloon off in between each time too that I, I do a balloon roll. I was pretty happy with that balloon roll that I got um, in the lower right hand corner here. It brought up some of that ruby and some of the gold. And now I'm just going back over and doing some more balloon kisses to see if I can enhance it anymore. And I think it's at this point I start to look at the composition of this painting and I realize that um, I really would like to have more of that ruby color coming through. I just think it looks too plain. I'm bringing up a little bit of it here and there, but I'm just, I'm really not satisfied with the amount that I'm getting there. So 
So what I did is I made a little cup full of that ruby color. Um, it's just a Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. You can see the little cup there with the ruby paint in it. And I just mixed a little bit of water to thin it. And I'm dipping my balloon in it and trying to get some of that ruby color onto my painting now. Trying to make it look like a flower here. Sometimes I had to keep dipping because the paint was thick and I would have to dip it down to the uh, level that I thought it was ready to accept some of the ruby paint on top like I'm doing right now. And again, if you get a chance to watch Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry, she, it, she's really, really good at this uh, cupping and covering technique and putting flowers on, and she even makes stems. Really beautiful work. Also, Heather Mater um, did a collab with Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry, and they both did this technique. They used the uh, different pouring medium, like I mentioned before. It's Floetrol and Mod Podge and GAC 800. And here I am still adding some, some of the ruby color with flowers just to add a little more color into this painting. It was just too bland. And right here I'm thinking I wanted to kind of string these flowers out like to make a little row of them. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish right here. The balloon kisses are fun to do. It takes a lot of practice. You can see I'm still working at bringing up some paint and then dipping that ruby down on top and working with it till I'm satisfied with the look of that flower. I'd like to thank all of my viewers and my subscribers. I really do appreciate the support that my channel has been getting. And please leave comments. I'm always open to trying new things. Um, or if there's something that you're not liking that you see I'm doing, let me know. Or something that you uh, would like to see me do different, a certain pour I could do that you would like to see, I'd be willing to, to do that too. Also, take the time to visit our Etsy shop. It is in the description. It's, it's the letter D, then the letter N, and the letter D. Art Gallery, Deaton D Art Gallery. Uh, we have several really beautiful paintings that are for sale. 
and we do commission work also. You could just contact us um, with the information in the drop down box in the description. And I'm really, at this point, I'm pretty happy with the way that this is looking. I've really added a, quite a bit of color to this painting now. Again, you can see there I, I tried to make like a row of flowers, connecting row of flowers. Again, I'm wiping off my balloon in between each time that I push it on the canvas. Trying to get down far enough in the paint for the canvas to accept the ruby color. And when I just dip it like that, I'm just trying to spread that flower out a little bit. And here I'm going to try a couple of more balloon rolls. And as you can see, I dipped my that glove I'm using to do to make the rolls. I'm dipping it in the um, the ruby colored paint. And here I'm just trying different angles for that roll to see what I can produce there. And I really was happy with that roll there. I brought up some blue with that one, and now I added some red to it. Very pretty. Still not happy with that corner, so I'm going up there and I'm adding just a little bit of red for the ruby color. You know, I'm happier with that. I brought up some blue, some of the cobalt blue there also. Very pretty. You'll see it when I take you down for a close up. And now I'm going back to just doing some more balloon kisses here. And while I have a minute, I can ask everybody, please uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And make sure you hit the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. If you choose all, you'll get notice of when uh, a new video does go up. And here I'm just using my finger to make, to make a little stem on that flower in here also. Now I'm just taking a look at it. Giving it another torch.
And here we are for the close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And you can see all those balloon kisses. They brought the, the cobalt blue up. Very pretty. Some of the balloon rolls. That's the one that I, the lower left-hand corner that I worked with there. And I'm taking you up the middle here. The flowers did turn out really nice. Here's the spot where I tried to um, make a row of those flowers. Here's another balloon roll that I added the red to. I think that turned out really nice there. Coming down the, just the right side here, here's another row of those flowers. Another balloon roll here where I added the ruby color. I think it's really pretty in here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. Until next time, bye for now.